Suppose we have the spherical point, rho equals two, theta equals three pi fourths, phi equals pi thirds. Convert to rectangular and cylindrical coordinates. First, let's go through the geometry. Now, if I have a spherical point, what do rho, theta, and phi mean? So rho is just gonna be the distance from the origin to our point, which we'll call P. If I take P, project down to the xy plane, so that's just gonna be by letting your z be equal to zero if we were in rectangular. We're gonna get a point in the plane, and then I can measure the angle from the positive x-axis to our point. That's gonna be our usual polar theta, and so that'll be between zero and two pi. To get phi, take the z-axis, take our point, and then we're gonna take the plane formed by the axis and our point. I start at the positive z-axis, come down till I hit my point in that plane, that's gonna give me phi. So phi is gonna be between zero and pi. Okay, we get pi if we go all the way down to the negative z-axis. So those are the coordinates. Now, how do we go from spherical to rectangular or cylindrical? So I need two right triangles to pull things apart. So first, we're gonna take the right triangle formed by the z-axis, and then we're gonna come down to our point P. So we'll assume that phi is acute, meaning less than 90 degrees, okay? When it's bigger than 90 degrees, you just gotta change the position of your angle. So, picture looks like this. Okay, here's our angle phi, our hypotenuse is rho. The opposite is gonna be rho sine phi. The adjacent's gonna be rho cosine phi. Now, if we push this down to the bottom, so rho sine phi is also gonna be the length along the bottom here, which is gonna be the hypotenuse of the right triangle that's in the xy plane. So if I draw that, what are we gonna get here? Hypotenuse is rho sine phi, our angle's theta, and so along the x, we're gonna get rho sine phi, cosine theta, okay? The height, the y, is gonna be rho sine phi, sine theta. So that's gonna give me our three coordinates. This is x, this is y, and rho cosine phi is gonna be z. Now, probably better to memorize these equations, but if you need to rederive, those two triangles have everything you need. All right, so our three equations, all we need to do now, put our angles and our row in, see what comes out. So first, we figure out cosine and sine for three pi fourths and pi thirds. Okay, three pi fourths, cosine and sine are gonna be squared two over two, and then we have to put sines in based on the quadrant. Three pi fourths is in the second quadrant, so, the x value is gonna be negative, so cosine picks up a minus sign. The y value is gonna be positive, so sine stays as it is. So I have minus square root of two, comma, square root of two. Okay, then for phi, pi thirds, okay, we're in the first quadrant. I need to know for pi thirds, so pi thirds and pi six pick up a half square root of three over two for sine and cosine. So the idea here is, Pi thirds is the larger angle, so it's gonna have a smaller cosine. Its x value is gonna be smaller. So I'm gonna go for the smaller of a half and square root of three over two. Square root of three over two is about 0.8 something, so we're gonna go with the half for the cosine of pi thirds. So its sine is gonna be square root of three over two. Now, it's just a matter of plugging into our equations. So what will come out? minus square root of six over two, square root of six over two, and a one. Okay, one thing I could check, if I take the sum of the squares, square root, I should get our rho. So I take the sum of the squares, I get a four, and that's gonna be rho squared, so at least that checks out. Now, going to cylindrical, so we're looking for r, theta, and z. So we're two thirds of the way there. We're given theta is three pi fourths, and from the rectangular part, we have that z is equal to one. So I just need to find r. Now you have two ways you can go, okay? r squared is gonna be equal to x squared plus y squared. 
This is just coming from polar coordinates. So in this case, we see that, okay, r squared is equal to three. So r is equal to square root of three. So that gives me my cylindrical point. Square root of three, three pi fourths, one. The check, again, we can check rho squared. Rho squared equals z squared plus r squared. So we see again, we're gonna get a three plus a one gives me a four, and that's our rho squared. 